I'm Kenji Lopez Alt of Serious Seats, and I'm here with uh, Franklin Becker from Haven Arthur's today. And today we're going to talk about Chef Becker's meat. <laughs> what do we got here? We have a beautiful ribeye. It's a prime dry aged piece of meat. It's from Creekstone Farms. We've marinated it in some herbs rosemary, thyme, red chili pepper flakes, some oh. garlic, some shallots, a little bit of maple syrup. And we're just going to season it liberally with some kosher salt. This is 40 ounces. All that fat in there, I mean, that's what makes it That's what gives the, it the uh, flavor. Absolutely. You know, the best cut you can get. It doesn't I think, like a ribeye. Yeah, exactly. Just season that with a little black pepper. I'm just going to put a touch of oil right on the outside. This is this is, this is an infrared <laughs> broiler that actually it, it gets up to about 16, 1700 degrees. Wow, yeah, Immediately yeah. we're singeing that. You'll see all of those infrared bulbs, and you'll see the splash of fat oh. hitting oh, wow. the flame. So that's beef fat vaporizing from the surface of the meat, jumping up and catching on fire. And then from there, I'm going to place it into the oven. Okay, and I'm going to cook it to approximately uh, just under rare. What is from it, like there, 120 degrees or so? I'm going to actually cook it to about 110. And I'm just going to flip that. On a busy night, we'll probably move through about 350 to 400 steaks. Easily. Your, your steak guy is pretty good at what he does. If you were to try and cook that through in the salamander, you just, you just, you just... I would char it to... Char it to death before the yeah. inside even got marked. Absolutely. So you, that's so why I came up with it. Method. Well, it's actually, it's almost a three-step right. method. I'm just going to take it, I'm going to put it onto a single platter. I'm going to place it into the back of the deck. And what that's going to do is that's going to start to heat up the center of the core. Can, it's like pizza. Right? Yeah, this is pretty hot. Oh, yeah. This is pretty hot. So at this point, it probably, it's like up to 110? It's up somewhere around 105 right now. Right. You can see how, you can smell it. How rich and beautiful that smells. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to place it into a bath that I've created. That's all clarified butter. That's all clarified right? butter, yeah. So basically, it's just sitting in that fat. It's absorbing flavor. It's really not absorbing the fat so much. It's mimicking sous vide. This is a sea bath oven, and it's temperature controlled. The same way that people cook meat in a water bath, you can keep this oven at a very precise temperature. It's resting at about 125, 130. I mean, there's no way to turn out three or four or 500 perfect steaks right. um, without some sort of a method. Um, that enables us to sustain it. So I'm just going to pull it out and make sure there's no herbs stuck to the bottom because uh -huh. they'll burn and start a fire almost instantly. And you're going to get licked by the flames no matter what. Right. Okay. So this, this is, this is going to flare up when you mean. It's going to flare up. You just took it out of the... Butter in a 2500 degree uh, sound. Exactly. They're not going to mix. The idea is now that it's cooked through and you're putting it in there one last time just to redevelop that crust. It should take all of about 30 to 40 seconds per uh -huh. side. From the time the waiter has decided you're ready to eat your entrees, right. I'm two minutes away on right. all steaks. The beauty of this is I don't have to rest this steak as much as I would have to rest right. it. Right, because it's already been because resting already before, been and now all you're doing is getting that very on time. That's it. So I only have about a one minute rest before I have to slice this. Sizzle is just beautiful. It's still going, you know, it's not going to stop. You can feel that, look at that. It's got Goodness. a beautiful yeah. texture. Feel how juicy it is inside there. Oh yeah, and I'm borderline medium rare right now. I can always repop it back in, but I like the steak like this. Still nice and red inside. Just warm, really just gorgeous. And this is I mean, hot on the outside. What's the outside. point of eating a ribeye if you don't like the fat? Exactly. This bit, you know that that. That's my that, oh, that's my favorite. Yeah, that that, my that little cap part outside. of the whole meat. I'm just gonna plate it right here. No loss of juices because it's been resting. Exactly. Cooked at such a low temperature. And you see the beauty of this meat. I mean it's. Almost edge to edge, nice and pink. One temperature. Because of, yeah, because of that really hot salamander and then mm -hmm. that low temperature cooking. Yep. It's great. And we have our drippings from our resting bath, just lightly drizzled right over the meat, just to add back some of that flavor. So I coat the book for two. I'm ready to dig in, are you? Absolutely. I think I'm going to grab this nice, beautiful, fatty section. Cheers. I don't know about you, but it's pretty hard to eat. Cheers, man. And you do actually get some of that sweetness. You do. You get, I mean, you get this, the residual sweetness coming in. You get the beauty of the meat, the, the funkiness of the 28 days. You're getting that, that richness I know you want. <laughs>